Igbo Area TV on on the Igbo. Ozo de ma to Nottanas. Don't leave Imo. Those after you are after me too. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and let's go there. The Imo State Governor Hope Ozo de ma, according to uh, gatherings, is said to have assured the Northern community in the state of the government's determination to protect them and their properties. Meanwhile, uh, the senior special assistant to the governor, Hope Uzodema, on gender and vulnerable persons, MEN, and uh, Galkuan Hausa, Shield of Hausa um, Community, Imo State, Honorable Suleiman Im Ibrahim Suleiman, uh, described as untrue reports that Hausas are living Imo. As he described Imo State as the safest place for them to live. The governor, who also uh, debunked the rumor that the northern community in Imo are living in droves, said that they had no need to leave, adding that they are part of a, and parcel of Imo State and that they are also stakeholders in Imo State. According to the governor, nobody will drive you away uh, he was talking to uh, the leadership of northern community who paid him a courtesy visit in his office in a worry saying that they had to come to solicit his uh, continued support to them in the face of recent pockets of insecurity affecting them and the governor also made it known to them that uh, for the fact that they are taxpayers in emo state they should not live like tenants in the house, adding that once they are doing their businesses in the state, they are from the state. Uh -huh. uh, Uzodema also told them that every protection or support he can give to the Igbo man from Imo state is what he will also give to a northerner who is in Imo state. And he therefore reminded them that they voted for him overwhelmingly and that government has a program for them that will help them live well and conduct their businesses properly he also further stated as he told them that the government had taken note of development in their habitation and assured them that it will not happen again uh, this government has no time for nonsense he said as he assured them not to go for self-help that the government will help them stating further he told them that there is no arrangement by any person or group that will be stronger than that of the government uh, telling them that all they need from them is information uh, the governor then informed the group that they should pray for the souls of those who lost their lives as he told them that those who are after them are after him too and god will not let them succeed he alleged that those behind their tax know that the northern community in Imo State is supporting him, adding that it was the reason they were being targeted. Uzodema therefore promised to enhance the security in all the places they reside in Imo State. Earlier, uh, the leader of the delegation, Ahaji Adamu Baba Sule, uh, told the governor that they can come to give both moral support and pledge their solidarity. Um, Ozodema said, regardless of the recent development, Imo State remains the most peaceful and most accommodating to the Northerners in the Southeast. He regretted that bad political leaders in Imo State conspired with others elsewhere to cause problems for the people and pleaded with and pleaded to beef up security at their places of abode. Uh, well, it's so clear. Supreme Court Northern Caliphate installed Ozodema, and that is why he told them that his enemies are their enemies. They, it's like saying the whole of Imo State people are not pleased with Ozodema and could not be pleased with the Hausawa community, whose uh, leadership in the north, the Cabal, it installed him on Imo people. You know he didn't win he said they voted for him overwhelmingly but he never won he was installed there he's a supreme court governor 
and the Supreme Court, um, under the dictates of the cabals, northern cabals, caliphate. So he was right to say those who are after him are after them because um, they installed him for their purpose. Imagine um, the promises he's given to them. Well, if they conduct their business properly, these are same promises. I'm sure um, some of them is giving these promises to our people who had occupied the forest illegally and he's pr planning to protect them in the forest. He's not telling them go to your, the city, rent houses. He's, he's giving them Imo land. And I'm sure this is the kind of governor that will take more than half of Imo land and roga it. What do you think? Please add your comment on the comment section of this channel. Still on Imo State, abducted Imo priest regains freedom. Uh, recall that uh, the news had it that a Catholic priest, Reverend Prof. Izu Marcel uh, Onyocha, was abducted by a non government in Imo State. Well, it will interest you to know that the said Reverend Father has regained his freedom. Or the provincial secretary of uh, Claretat missionaries, Reverend Father Matthew Iwawu, announced the priest's release in a statement on Monday. Whereas a police public relations officer in the state, SP Orlando Ikogu, also confirmed the release. Onyosha, who is a professor of philosophy at the Imo State University, where he is a priest in the congregation of Claretan missionaries. He was kidnapped on Saturday evening along the Enugu Port Harcourt Express Road at Ihube Community in Okigwe Council area of the state when he was returning from Enugu to Wari by a group of persons suspected to be headsmen. Imagine headsmen again in our land kidnapping our people. What is happening? And some people are giving them space. Headsmen come to our land, kidnap our people, collect money. Could you imagine that? Fadi would disclose that um, Father Onyosha was dropped off at Ihube community in Okiwe Council area of the state in the early hours of Monday. According to him, the kidnappers might have apparently become frustrated when no one was coming to or willing to pay ransom for the release of the priest and quickly let him go. Father Onyosha was said to have threatened to St. Mary's Catholic cathedral okay where from where he returned to his base wow these are the same people in all of the western forest they come to the express road they kidnap people these are not people from nigeria these are foreigners from other part of the africa they come here they kidnap and when them some of these um, the indigents wants them out somebody will oppose say no 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 meanwhile these people are causing nuisance to the real indigents please viewers what do you think please add your comment on the comment section of this channel we want solutions to this a nollywood legend is dead sir bruno iwoha I see the lovely photos of his wife and children. Veteran actor Bruno Iroha has been confirmed dead. He died after battling with diabetes, which led to his blindness for years. His death was disclosed by a close friend and filmmaker, Derek Zai. Uh, according to him, Bruno died at the National Hospital Abuja. While disclosing the information, he said veteran actor had been in coma for about three weeks and they did everything they can do to save his life but to no avail. Uh, for now, his family members have not announced his burial arrangements. Bruno Iwa is the white haired Nollywood actor who graced our TV with a soft and intelligent nature. 
and he was known for his white hair movies. Bruno Iwaha was active in Nollywood for about 15 years. His absence in the movie industry was due to an illness that left him bedded for years, although after he cried out for help, a good Nigerian took him to the U.S. and paid for all his medical expenses. He later recovered a little bit and then was shown by the doctors to desist from all work activities because of his health. Uh, this was the reason why you've not been seeing him on movies for years. His demise is really a great loss to the Nollywood industry. See, Bruno Iwaha's wife, um, as you can see in the picture, and you know, they had twins, so she's called Mame Jima Iwaha. <laughs> Her first kids were twins. So according to source, Mame Jima is a calm and loving mother to all her children and everyone found close to her. And she's a woman of virtue who doesn't look down at anyone even though her husband was in the same rank as Pete or near Pete, Doshi, uh, Clemo Hamese and other notable Nollywood legends. You can see the pictures of the wife and the lovely children. And Bruno is breast with six wonderful children. Like we said, his first kids were twins, two girls. The second of his twins daughter is happily married. His children are always proud of him and his achievements. Although he may not be very rich as the movie often portrays, yet he made sure that he gives his best to his children and give them the best life he could afford. And we also showed you a picture of the traditional marriage of a second daughter. May his soul rest in peace. Uh, Ibo Area TV say, um, extend condolence message to Sir Bruno Iwoha. I think there was a time he worked with uh, the popular Abuja Human Rights TV, Hembe Lembe, um, Breaker the Family. I think he had a stint with them before uh, his illness finally took him in. May his soul rest in peace. Uh, please send condolences to this family. It is another great Nollywood loss. And this is where we draw the curtain for today. Please share this video. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. Also click on the bell icon to get our updates anytime it drops. Bye for now. Thanks for watching Ebo Area TV. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also click the bell icon. Like our Facebook page. Join our Facebook group. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Bye for now.